everybody who has breath praise the Lord everybody with the breath should praise the Lord and the Bible says that in everything that is within us should praise the Lord Praise the Lord. Siku ya leo tutaongea kuhusu jambo linasema usione nyuma. Today we want to share about this message. Do not look back. Songa mbele. Press on. Usiangalie nyuma. Do not look back. Maana kuna madhara mengi katika kuangalia nyuma. Because there are dire consequences of looking back. Na sio tu kuangalia nyuma. And not just looking back. Kuna madhara ya kuangalia kwa macho. There are also bad consequences of looking with your eyes. Kumbe tunatakiwa tutembee kwa imani. We ought to walk by faith. Na sio kwa yale ambayo tunayachagua kwa macho. And not by sight. Tunaona jinsi ambavyo Ibrahimu Mungu alimuita. We see how God called Abraham. Na akaenda na ndugu yake Lutu. And he went together with his brother. Lakini Lot. Biblia inasema But the Bible says Katika hiyo safari during that journey. Pakawa vita katikati ya wafanyakazi wa Ibrahimu na wafanyakazi wa Lutu. There was a conflict be- between the workers of Abraham and the workers of Lot. Watu wanapotembea pamoja hawakosi vita. When people walk together conflict ah oh. lakini but una una act namna gani katika hiyo vita how do you respond in case of a conflict unachukua maamuzi gani what decisions do you take ya rohoni ama ya mwilini do you take spiritual decisions or physical decisions bwana asifiwe praise the lord bwana asifiwe praise the lord ndani ya kanisa kuna mchanganyiko pia in the church there's also a mix up wewe uko upande gani? Which side are you standing on? Na hizo vita zilivyoendelea and as the battle went on. Ibrahim akamwambia Lutu. Abraham told Lot. Sio vema tuendelee na vita. It is not good for us to continue conflicting. Itabidi tutengane. We have to go separate ways. Kama utaenda kushoto nitaenda kulia. If you go left I will go right. Kama ukienda kusini nitaenda kaskazini. If you go south I will go north. Maana tumeitiwa kuishi kwa amani. Because we have been called to live in peace. Biblia inasema The Bible says Ibrahim alivyomwambia hivyo When Abraham, Abraham told Lot that Lot akakimbilia opportunity Lot sought for the opportunity Mimi nilifikiri angesema I thought he would say Ibrahim wewe ni baba yangu Abraham you are my father Hebu amua juu yangu Just decide regarding me Ile utanipa nitachukua Whatever you give me I shall take it lakini kwa sababu Lot alikuwa ni mtu wa mwilini but because Lot was a carnal man ambaye hakuwa na heshima na baba yake and he did not respect his father ambaye alikuwa anajipenda because he was selfish Biblia inasema the bible says akaangalia juu akaangalia pande zote akaangalia upande wa chini he looked around looked at the surrounding and he saw a valley akaangalia eneo nzuri ambalo litamfana na mifugo yake he looked at a fertile land that was good to him and his livestock ukijipenda sana if you are selfish utapoteza maisha yako you will lose your life ukitanguliza wengine but if you bring the concerns of others before yours utabarikiwa you shall be blessed Lutu alivyoangalia When Lot looked around Akaangalia kwa macho He looked by sight Ya tamaa I lust of the eyes Biblia inasema akaangalia lile bonde zuri eneo yote ya Jordan The Bible says that he saw the fertile valley of Jordan Majani mabichi the, the 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 land was fertile Na Jordan And Jordan Moyoni mwake akasema In his heart he told himself This is good for me. Na hata maji kwa mifugo yangu. And even the waters for my livestock. Akageukea Ibrahim akamwambia He turned to Abraham and told him Mimi nitachukua hilo bonde lote la greenish lot ni la kwangu. I will go and take the fertile land which is green to myself. Kwa akili yake in his mind alijua anaenda kufanyikiwa he knew that he was going to prosper alijua mifugo yake inaenda kufanyikiwa he knew that his livestock would would prosper kwa sababu aliangalia kwa macho because he he walked by sight na akatamani and he desired he lusted ibrahim akamwambia abraham told him hamna shida there's no problem 
Ukichukua hilo bonde if you take the valley Mimi nitapanda kwenye milima I shall go up the mountains Katika akili ya mwanadamu in humanly thinking Ibrahim alikuwa amechukua eneo gumu la kupanda milima iliyo kauka iliyo mikavu na sijui mifugo yake ingeweza kupata chakula Abraham took the route that was difficult climbing up the mountains the dry wilderness I don't know how he could have made it Ambia mwenzako tembea rohoni. Tell your neighbor walk by faith. Usitamani mambo ya ulimwengu. Do not desire the things of this world. Usije ukayapoteza maisha yako. Lest you lose your life. Wa Kristo wengi. Many Christians. Tunatembea bado na tamaa mioyoni mwetu. We still walk with the last of things in our hearts. Hautakiwi kufuata hivyo vitu. You are not supposed to pursue those things. Unatakiwa kufuata kutafuta ufalme wa Mungu. You are supposed to pursue the righteousness of God. Biblia inasema. The Bible says. Tuyafikirie yaliyo juu. Let us think of the things above. Tuyafikirie yaliyo juu. Let us think of the things above. Inaamini leo hakuna amina ndani ya nyumba ya Mungu. I know today I won't get so many amens in the house Nijari of God. Ni lakini nitakwambia ukweli. I don't care but what I go, I'm going to do is to tell you the truth. Tutazamie sana mambo ya juu. Let us be expectant of the things from above. Maana tukishapata ya juu, because once we behold the things above, yatatufuata. The things of the world will follow us. Bwana asifiwe. Praise the Lord. Alivotamani bonde. When he lasted for the valley. Na maji ya Jordan. And the waters of river Jordan. Akaelekea huko. He went there. Kumbe kule. Yet ndio Sodoma na Gomora. That was Sodom and Gomorrah. Ndiko alipopenda huko. That is the place he loved. Na Ibrahim alipopanda milima. And as Abraham climbed the mountain. Kwa shida na kwa umri wake. Through difficulties you could imagine his age. Mungu alikuwa anawaangalia wote. God was looking from above back Kama jinsi Mungu anaangalia Wakristo wa Zion City wote, kila mtu anamjua Mungu. Mawazo, mahitaji, maneno kila kitu anatutazama wote kwenye screen as god from above is watching and looking at the children of zion he knows our thoughts he knows our ways he knows everything about us nini yako ya ndani sana what is the inner thought that you have nini sana inakuleta hapa what is the desire the motivating factor that brings you here yani ukipewa sekunde moja ukasema kwamba unahitaji nini utasema nini if you are given one second to just say whatever you desire most what would you say na je ukekufa sasa hivi dakika hii utaenda wapi and for instance if you had to die today where shall you go usitamani vitu vya dunia do not lust after the things of this world itakupoteza they will cause you to lose focus tamani vitu vya juu Desire the things from above. Maana vitu vya juu because the things from above. Vitakupatia kila kitu cha dunia hii. They will give you everything that is good for you. Utatumia gari lakini gari haitakuwa ndani ya moyo wako. You will be using your car but the car will not be in your heart. Utavaa mavazi lakini mavazi hayako ndani ya moyo wako. You will put on clothes, gold clothes but the clothes shall not be in your heart. Utakaa ndani ya nyumba nzuri lakini nyumba nzuri haiko ndani ya mawazo yako. You will live in your in a good house but a good house shall not dominate your thoughts ndani ya nyumba ya moyo wako in pawe mawazo ya mbinguni in your heart let there be the thoughts of heaven ndipo utatajirika that is how you're going to be rich ndipo utaheshimika na mungu that is, that is how god is going to honor na mungu akikuheshimu and when, if god honors you atakuelekeza surely he shall lead you atatuma malaika wake he will send his angels akuelekeze to lead you mahali pa usalama to a place that is safe Ah. Ibrahim alipofika juu, when Abraham went up, Mungu akafurahi sana. God was delighted. Akamshukia. He came down to him. Wenzetu wameenda huko. Now our brother has gone down. Biblia inasema, the, the Bible says, Watu wa Sodoma na Gomora, the people of Sodom and Gomorrah, walikuwa ni watu wa uovu mwingi. They were people who were wicked. Sasa, now, ukiwa mahali kama hapo, if you're in a place as such, penye uovu mwingi, a place full of wickedness. Kuna mapepo mengi. Demons are there. Kuna nguvu za giza. Principalities of darkness. Kama za kila aina. Every kind of lust. Unanyongwa nyongwa usiku. Every night 
they come against you utawezaje kuyapata maono ya mbinguni how then can you receive heavenly vision mungu atashukaje kuelekeze how then will god come down upon you maana umeshajielekeza kwa mawazo yako mwenyewe because you have already in your own thoughts taken yourself mungu akamshukia ibrahim god came down to abraham akamwambia rafiki yangu he told him friend unaona yule aliyechagua alifikiri amechagua vizuri see the man who thought he had chosen wisely lakini acha sasa nikuoneshe but now let me show you kumbe juu ya mlima now see on the mountain kulikuwa mtu hawezi kuona nini iko kwa upande huko nobody would have seen what was on the other side of the mountain hadi kwa na panda hakujua nini iko huko as he climbed the mountain he did not know what was on the other side lakini alipofika juu but once he got on the top mungu akamwambia god told him njo rafiki yangu come friend njo nikuoneshe let me show you yale ambayo watu wa mwilini hawawezi kuona the thing that cannot man cannot see yale ambayo wenye tamaa hawawezi kufikia the thing that people who have lost cannot attain akamtembeza He went with him. Unajionaje kutembea na Mungu? How do you feel walking with God? Unajionaje Mungu anakuambia njoo? How do you feel God talking to you and asking you come with me? Akasema angalia. When he got there he told him see. Kazini kusini mashariki magharibi north east west and south kumbe kulikuwa tambarare nyingine huko juu there was another flat land on top of the mountain siku moja nilipanda huko upareni one day i went up the hills of gari ilikuwa inataka kuanguka tunasema watu wanawezaje kuishi kwenye mazingira kama haya upareni huko hey. and i was asking myself how do people live here because it was difficult to drive yeah, ni mbone inchi ni kubwa kwa nini watu waende kwenye milima kama hii hii ni kifo sio uzima our land is so vast Why would people go and live there? Tulikuwa tumemsindikiza dada yetu alikuwa amefiwa na na baba yake. We had uh, escorted our sister who had lost his, her father. Nilipofika juu ya hiyo milima huko upare. But when I go to the hey. top of the hills of Pare. Nikaona tambarare zingine. I saw flat. Nikaona majani mabichi. I saw And I asked myself and told myself there is life here. Ndipo mambo ya rohoni yalivyo. That is how spiritual things are. Mtu asikudanganye. Let nobody receive you. Mtu asikushawishi. Let nobody misadvise you. Lazima wana macho ya rohoni. You have to get spiritual eyes. Lazima ujue kutambua. You have to be able to discern. Usije ukapoteza wokovu wako. Lest you lose your salvation. Usije ukapoteza maisha yako. Lest you lose your life. Kwa ajili ya tamaa ya dunia. Just because of the last of this world. Ibrahim akashangaa. Abraham was surprised. And he said, the north Kusini. to the south Mashariki. east Magarini. and west i am giving it to you hallelujah hallelujah amen ibrahim alipofurai abraham delighted in his heart akajenga madhabahu ya bwana he built an altar for the lord akamtolea mungu shukrani and he gave god thanks mwenzetu huko our brother down there yuko kule katika watu walio jau ovu wingi wa kila aina he was living amid his people who are wicked every kind of evil hata ukiwa mteule even if you are the chosen one kama unakaa na watu wenye uovu mwingi if, if you live amid his people who are wicked hautajua kwa kuaje you will not know how things will happen mawazo yako yanaanza kubadilika your thoughts may turn around tabia zako zinaanza kubadilika your habits will change kwa sababu umezingirwa na mapepo because you are surrounded by demons watu wenye tabia mbaya people who, are, who have bad habits watu wenye maneno mabaya people with evil words watu wa mwilini people who are carnal wa kristo wengi many christians bado ni wa mwilini they are still carnal wanatembea na tamaa mioyoni they walk with lust in their hearts Mwenzetu anajenga madhabahu. Our brother was building an altar. Mwingine ana mingo mingo huko chini na watu. Another one was mingling with evil people. Ndivyo dunia ilivyo. That is how the world is. Sodoma na Gomora. Sodom and Gomora. Inajaa. It is full. Dhambi za kutisha. Full of wicked abominations. Machukizo. Katika nchi hizo nchi za za nje. In the western world. Hata ndani ya makanisa. Even in churches. Mahubiri yote. All the preaching. Ni mahubiri ya prosperity. It's about prosperity. Lakini but Mungu akiamua kufunga. If God decides to close. Hata ukihubiriwa prosperity set years. It doesn't matter how long they preach to you the message of prosperity. You will, it will not enter. Okay. It will not come to happen. Utasitimu tu dakika 30. You will just be excited for 30 minutes. Baadaye unasema mbone bado sijapata. Afterwards you come to realization you have gotten nothing. Roho wa Mungu anawaacha. The spirit of God abandons Kwa them. Kwa ajili ya Because of lust. Leo today. Ndani ya makanisa. In churches. Zinafungwa ndoa za mume na mume. Homosexuals. Zinafungwa ndoa ya mke na mume. Homosexuals get married. Ndani ya makanisa. In churches. Hiyo ni Gomora. That is Gomora. Hiyo ni Sodoma. That is Sodom. Uovu umekuwa mwingi. Evil has 
risen. May the Lord help us. These are the last days. These are the last days. Be careful. Hold fast unto what you have. Hold fast unto your salvation. Hold fast unto your first love. Wicked will, wickedness will still increase. And they did so much evil. But one day, Abraham as he continued communicating with God Malaika wakaja The angels came walivokuja When they came Hatutaingia huko itachukua muda We shall not go into that it will take us time Nikwambia ukiwa rohoni But I'm telling you if you're spirit Ukiwa juu If you're above Viumbe vya mbinguni vitakuja The heavenly host will come Itaongea na wewe They will speak to you Itakula na wewe They will eat with you Itakuelekeza They will fellowship with you Itakwambia siri za mbinguni They will tell you the mysteries of heaven wakala na malaika and the fellowships hivi unajua kuna malaika wengine wako tu kama mwanadamu ana miguu miwili na mikono did you know that yani ukimwona unaona ni mwanadamu kumbe ni malaika ametoka mbinguni there are angels who look like human beings you may think they are human beings yet they are angels kuna malaika wengine wana mabawa some angels have wings kila malaika na assignment juu yake every angel has an assignment upon you siku moja one day nilikuwa kwenye maombi i was in prayer roho akaniambia and the spirit told me today i shall visit you nilipoanza kumuomba mungu when i started praying to god nilikuwa namuomba mungu i was asking god ghafla nikasikia chumba inabadilika suddenly i had that atmosphere in the room change anga ya chumba inabadilika the atmosphere changed nikasikia mbingu inashuka mahali hapo and i felt like heaven was descending wakati sijaelewa nini kinaendelea before i could know what was happening alikuwa na malaika there was an angel alikuwa na mabawa he had wings mapana zaidi ya ndege the wings were wider than a, than a bird alivosimama juu yangu hivi when he stood above me mwili wangu ukaanguka my body fell down nikashika juu and i held na malaika kanipeleka the angel went up with me ukiwa katika kusudi la Mungu brethren when you are in the purpose of God utaona maajabu you shall see wonders masikio hajawahi kusikia ears have not heard macho hayajawahi kuona not seen na kuambia usitamani vitu vya dunia hii i submit to you do not lust after the things of this world usitamani vitu vya mbinguni if you desire the things of heaven utaona maajabu ya Mungu you will see the wonders of God Mungu atatuma malaika wa kila aina God will send every kind of angel malaika mkubwa kuliko ndege an angel bigger than a, than a bird akanichukua akanipeleka he took me up nikaanza kumwabudu Mungu and i started worshiping God bado nikaogopa i was scared nikasikia sauti inasema kwa nini unaogopa na uko na Yesu why are you fearing yet you are mungu. with Jesus i no. started glorifying God hiyo ni mambo ya ajabu those are wonders yanaweza kukutokea they can happen to you kama utaangalia juu if only you focus about kama hautaangalia juu and not down kama hautatamani mabonde ya sodoma na gomora if you lust after the valleys of sodom kama utatamani mbingu if only you desire heaven utaanza kuita you will start visiting him not, not twice not twice because you will be a friend of god nilipofika mahali kwa takatifu when i got to the holy place nilipoachiliwa as i was let nikaanza kusema i Take me away from here I'm not worthy. A voice told me. Why are you complaining? Plead for the blood of Jesus. I started pleading. Plead in the blood. This evening. We are going to plead for the blood of Jesus over your life. We shall plead for the blood of Jesus over your life. Then God will move and walk with you. Give praise to him. The blood of Jesus has the power to cleanse you. The blood of Jesus is able to make you a new creature. The blood of Jesus will give you approval in a holy place. That's when I heard a voice. It said the things you see. Mambo unayoyasikia. The things you hear. Mambo utakayoyapitia. The things you'll go through. Uyanene kwa watu wa karibu na wambaye. Speak to the people near and the people far. Uyanene kwenye television. Speak through the television. Oh Yesu. Atakufanyia vitu tashangaa. He will do to you wonders you'll be amazed. Akaniambia. He told me. Tazama nimeweka mlango mbele yako. Behold I have put a gate ahead of you. Endelea katika njia hii. 
Continue in this way. And do not look back. That is the vision I'm explaining to you today. I received it from heaven. From the day of your salvation, do not look back. There is destruction behind you. If you look back, you will be defeated. Yesu anasema Jesus is saying Katika kitabu cha Luka In the book of Luke Hamumkumbuke mke wa Lutu Don't you remember Alipoangalia nyuma How he looked she looked back Malaika wakamwambia Ibrahim The angels told Abraham Uovu wa Sodoma na Gomora umekuwa mwingi The wickedness of Sodom and Gomorrah has filled the Nenda couple kuangamiza. I'm going to destroy them Ibrahim akaanza kuomboleza Abraham started in succeeding Na kwa ajili ya maombi ya Ibrahim and through the inter- intercession of Abraham Malaika walivoenda when the angels went wakakusudia ku rescue familia ya Lot they wanted and they purposed to rescue Lot's family Na kwa ajili ya maombi ya Yesu Kristo and because of the prayers intercessions of Jesus Christ Malaika watakuja the angels will come Wanajua address ya nyumba yako They yaku. know the address you are Wanajua majina ya watoto wako They know where you live Wakati uharibifu utakuwa mwingi They know your name and when the destruction has increased because of the intercession Malaika. of Jesus watakuja kukupiga The angels will come to rescue you. Ya, watakuja kukuokoa. They will come to save you. Na kukutoa kwenye uharibifu. And to take you out of destruction. Shangilie bwana. Give praise to Jesus. Palikuwa na manyumba mengi. There were so many houses. Lakini walijua kwa Lutu ni wapi. But they knew Lot's address. Lutu alikuwa ni mtu wa Mungu. Lot was a man of God. Lakini bado alikuwa na miungu ya tamaa ndani yake. But still he had idols of lust in his heart. Lakini alikuwa anaweza kutambua maana aliona malaika akajua hawa sio watu wa kawaida. But he was still able to discern because he saw the angels and he knew these were not ordinary men. Akaambia jamani karibu ni kwetu. He told them please please come inside. Akawapokea vizuri. He received them well. Akawaingiza kwake. Ushered them in. Ambia mwenzako. Tell your neighbor. Malaika wa Mungu. The angel of God. Wanajua nyumba yetu. They know your address. Watakuongoza? They will lead you. Wa- kupigania they will fight for you lakini but wasikilize listen to them hawatakubaliana na uovu they cannot condone evil wakaka they sat down wakachangia and they shared together baadaye later <laughs> hao watu wa Sodoma na Gomora the people of Sodom and Gomora kwa ajili ya uovu mwingi because of much wickedness wakajua kuna watu wameingia they knew that visitors were in town mawazo yao yote ni kwenye uzinzi now their thoughts were just carnal twende tuwatafute hawa watu let us go look for these people tutembee nao and let us know them carnally can you imagine fikiria hilo uovu ulikuwa umewajaa they were so full of wickedness wako tayari kutembea na malaika hawajui ni malaika wa Mungu ready to know angels carnally not knowing that these were angels sent from god <laughs> Kama watu wa Sodoma na Gomora walitamani watembee na malaika hata we mtumishi wa Mungu sifikiri dunia itakuogopa aifuogopa if, if the men in Sodom and Gomora wanted to know angels carnally let me tell you servant of God the world is not scared of you Wametoka mbinguni ni watakatifu These men were coming from heaven they were holy Lakini wazinzi wakasema tuende tuwafuate tutembee na But the fornicators wanted to know them carnally Ambea mwenzako uwe makini. Tell your neighbor, be careful. Hawata kuogopa. They will not fear you. Shetani hakumuogopa Yesu hata kuogopa. Satan did wewe. not fear Jesus. He will not fear you. Wakaenda kwa nguvu. And they went by force. Wakaenda kwa kasi. They went they went faster. Wakati mafungueni hapa. And they Kuna hit the door. Kuna wanaume wawili wameingia huko. They hit the door. Two men are Tuna here. Open. We want them. Sasa vile nasema ilikuwa ni crowd. The Bible says it was a crowd of people. Hiyo crowd ingetembea na watu wawili namna gani? Now how can a crowd no canally two people only? Kama sio mapepo hiyo ni nini jamani? If these were not demons, what are they? Watu wawili. Only two people. Crowd nzima ya Sodoma na Gomora inakuja ku ku kufungueni fungueni fungueni. A crowd of Sodom and Gomora knocking the door, hitting the door, open, open up. Sasa Lot akafungua mlango. Lot opened the door. Anaenda kunegotiate. No, he wanted to negotiate. Nataka unisikilize. I want to hear you I want to, you to listen to. Uone gisi ya kukaa mahali pa mapepo na kwa watu wa mapepo na wewe anaanza kuku affect kisaikoloji. I want you to realize how dangerous it is for you to sit around people who are evil, around demonic 
forces. Lot told him, told them. Malaika. He told the angels. He told the people. Jamani, jamani, now listen, listen, please. Make not noise. The people were shouting, we want to know them carnally. He said, no, please. Sikiliza sasa. Now In, listen. Influence ya Sodoma na Gomora. Akasema, naomba kabisa. Naomba, yani munisikilize tu, mwachane na hao watu. Now I want you to recognize the influence of Sodom and Gomora in Lot. He said, I want you to leave these people alone. Niko tayari. I am ready. Niwapatie mabiti wangu wawili. To give you two of my daughters. Mfanye lolote mnalotaka kufanya nao. That you may do whatever you want with them. Influence ya Sodoma. That is Sodom and Gomorrah's influence. Ni nani mzazi anaweza kutoa watoto wake mabinti? Now tell me a parent who can give his daughters. Ili crowd nzima hiyo ifanye inachotaka kufanya kama so the influence ya Sodoma na Gomorrah. The crowd can rep your own daughters. If it is not an influence from Sodom and Gomorrah, what is that? Alafu pili akasema kwamba hawajajua wanaume. Secondly said they are virgins. Huko Biblia inasema walikuwa na waume zao. The Bible says the daughters of Lot had their husbands Sijui ni wengine wawili ama ni hao hao lakini ni kama kuna kaongo fulani kama sijakuwa I think there's an aspect of lying here because the bible says the daughters of Lot had their husband Kwa ajili ya kuwatuliza ikabidi aseme kaongo kidogo Now because he wanted to calm them down he went ahead to lie Yaani anajipigani In other words he is fighting his own battle A man of God Analinganishwa na mtu aliyeokoka He is compared to a born again Christian Lakini moyo wake unatamani vitu vya dunia But his heart is still lasting the things of the world Mawazo yake yamechangamana na dunia His thoughts are still mixed up with the thoughts of the world Anajipigania kwa kimwili He is fighting carnally Na influence ya dunia ndio ana and he is using the influence of the world as a weapon. Lakini, but vita. it was a serious battle. Wewe. He said, they said, you, wewe ni mgeni. you are a visitor here. Judge mahali hapa. You want to become a judge in this place. We are going to Waka show you. Kwa nguvu. And they held him fast. Wanting to beat him up. The Bible says, Wale wa the two angels, Waka they came now to fight on behalf of God. They came to fight for him. Waka toka they went out. They pulled him in suddenly. And they closed the door. With divine power. The Bible says. These angels. They struck the, the crowd with blindness. Tell your neighbor. Do not fight for yourself. God will use the angels. He will lead you. He will fight for you. Do not fight for yourself. By, by flesh and blood. There is something you can do. But there is warfare. Let the angels of God fight for you. Fight for you. The Bible says the angels struck them with blindness. From today, if you can hear the voice of God, you will have bodyguards. They will walk with you. They will walk with you. They will defend you. When you enter place, when you sit down, people may not see. But the angels of God, they are with you. People who come against you they will be struck with blindness. Kwa French wanasema aveuglement. Aha. Hallelujah. Amen. Watapigwa aveuglement. They will be struck be struck with blindness. Wanasema ilikuwa ni ngumu hata wajue kurudi makwao. It was difficult for them even to find the way back home. Ipoke kwa jina. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Ipoke kwa jina. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Atakuongoza. He will lead you. Atakupigania. He will defend you. Umusikilize. Listen to him. Usimkasirikishe. Do not grieve him. Sasa malaika wakamwambia. Now the angels told him. Tunakupa siri. We are giving you a secret. Hii Sodoma na Gomora. Sodoma and Gomora inaangamia. Is going to be destroyed. Unatakiwa wewe you ought na watoto wako with your family na mke wako and your children na waume watu and your wife watoto wako and your in-laws sons in law mkimbie haraka. To run away. Toke Sodoma. Fast as possible Mara, out of Sodom. Unavyoiona hii Sodoma. Because as you look at Sodom now it's going to burn down. Sasa fikiria. Now let's uh, imagine this. The fertile valley. The riches and the livestock. The waters of Jordan. And the lusts. You are supposed to run away from everything. 
Wakati mwenzako ameshapata huko juu kaskazini kusini mashariki magharibi na madhabahu juu ya Mungu. At the time when your, your, your brother has already possessed north, south, east, west together with that an altar of God. Wewe unaenda kupoteza kila kitu kwa dakika moja. For you you are going to lose everything just in a minute. Ambia mwenzako tamani mambo ya mbingu. Tell your neighbor desire heavenly things. Mbingu itashuka and heaven will come down. Bodyguard wa mbinguni watashuka. Bodyguards of heaven will come down. Watakupigania. They will defend you. Watapiga maadui zako. They will fight your enemies. Kasema mukimbie. And he said run fast. Kwa haraka. Hurriedly. Mtoke huko. Out of Sodom. Alafu then usione nyuma. Do not look back. Wamegeni nini? What have they gained? Ilibidi wakimbie. They had to run away. Wa rescue maisha yao. In order to rescue their lives. Kama ni nyumba wameacha. If it is a house they left behind. Kama ni gari wameacha. Car behind. Kama ni mifugo wameacha. Livestock behind. Kila kitu wameacha. Everything they left it behind and they ran as fast as they could. Na mwingine huko juu anaongea na Mungu. Yet the other one up there is fellowshipping with God. Mungu anampa ahadi juu ya nyingine, ahadi juu ya nyingine. God is giving you a promise after another. Watoto wa Zion City. Children of Zion City. Mungu alisema tusiangalie nyuma. God told us not to look back. Lot wakakimbia. Lot ran. Binti zake wakakimbia. His daughters ran. Wale waume wa Sodoma na Gomora hawakuamini hata. The men of Sodom and Gomorrah could not believe it. Yo wadada waliokoka wanasema ah nda atanioa tu baadaye atachange atachange wapi hapa change Born again ladies they want to get married to non born again men and they say they will change how will they change Watachange Nani anakuambia watachange Who tells you they will change Wakati wanaambia mambo ya mbinguni ndio wanacheka kabisa When they are told about the things of heaven they despise them Wakati Luta anawaambia Sodoma inaungua tunatakiwa malaika wanasema tukimbie wanamcheka baba muka wanasema huyu amechagadikiwa hawawezi mtu wa mwilini hawezi kuelewa mambo ya rohoni haiwezekani when lord was telling his sons in law that sodom and gomorrah is going to be destroyed they were laughing at him i'm telling you a carnal man cannot understand spiritual language walivokimbia wao wakakataa when they ran away the sons in law remained behind sodom iko kwenye mifupa iko kwenye damu iko kwenye dna wataiacha waende wapi because sodom is is in the bone marrow it is in the dna lakini walivokimbia but when they ran <laughs> muke walutu sasa now the wife of lot ina maana ndani yake it means that in her kuna vitu ambavyo vilikuwa vinamvuta ya sodoma na gomora there were things which were still pull, pulling her back things of sodom and gomora vilikuwa bado vinamvuta the influence of sodom and gomora huko anakimbia yet she was running huko anajiuliza at the same time asking herself ninaacha nyumba yangu i'm leaving my house ninaacha ngombe zangu i'm zo. leaving my livestock mtu anaacha ana, anaacha ibada eti anaenda kujifanya biashara eti anaenda jamani that is compared to a person who abandons the service in order to go and strike a deal business deal unaambia ukimbie sio utaweza kukimbiza hizo ngombe zote zitaungua tu you are told to run away you cannot rescue any of the livestock all of it will be destroyed sasa iko najiuliza mimi naenda lakini huku tutakula nini ngombe zote zinabaki nyuma sasa tunaenda wapi hivi kweli 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 taungua she is running yet in her mind she is asking herself what are you going to eat what about the cows what about the food what are you going to eat yani umetoka sodoma lakini sodoma iko ndani yako you left sodom but sodom is still within you kumbe unatakiwa ukitoka sodoma na uhakikishie sodoma imetoka ndani yako the thing is this you are supposed to leave sodom and let sodom out of your of yourself na hiyo ndio zoezi ambayo tunatakiwa kuifanya sisi wa kristo tuliokoa and that is the ongoing exercise that we christians ought to do Tumetoka katika dunia we, are, we came out of the world Tunaelekea na kwetu We are heading home Lakini tunatakiwa tuhakikishie kwamba dunia pia imetoka ndani yetu But we have to ensure that the world also is out of us Kama dunia haijatoka ndani mwetu If the world does not come out of us Hata kama tumetoka ndani ya dunia It doesn't matter how far we run away from the world Tunakimbia na dunia ndani yetu We still run with the world within us Tunakimbia na dunia ndani yetu We still run with the world within us Lazima tutaangalia nyuma In that way we are going to look back Alikuwa anakimbia na Sodoma ndani yake He was running she was running but Sodom was in her Alikuwa hajawekwa huru kujitenganisha na Sodoma She was not set free from Sodom and Gomorrah Na sisi leo And we today Roho wa Mungu anakuuliza The spirit of God is posing a question to you 
true you're born again ni kweli unakimbia true you're running unaelekea mbinguni you are heading to heaven lakini ni vitu gani bado vimekushikilia but what are the things which, which are still pulling you back unavyo vitafakari usiku na mchana the things that you meditate upon day and night hizo ndio vitakuangusha those are the things that will bring you down mtu anaanguka hivi hivi you will you, you will not just fall down mtu anaanguka kwa sanamu iliyo ndani ya moyo wake somebody falls down because of the idol within him or her recho alikimbia recho ro ran away lakini akakimbia na visanamu vya huko kwa But she ran with the idols from Maana alikuwa hiyo miungu ndio itamtetea because she thought that the idols are going to defend her Yakobo anaenda na Yakobo anaenda kwanza maisha mapya na watoto Here she is going with Jacob to start a new life with her children Lakini kumbe ameficha visanamu yet she was hiding idols miungu ya huko kwao small gods from her place Kumbe hiyo miungu ndio ilikuja kumrarua baadaye Those small gods are the ones which came to destroy her letter Ambia mwenzako achilia leo Tell your neighbor let go Let go. Maana usipoachilia. Because if you don't let go. Utaangalia nyuma. You will look back. Sauti kutoka mbingu. A voice from heaven. Kasema angalia mbele yako. It said look ahead of you. Wala usiangalie nyuma. And do not look back. Ni vitu gani? Which things? Vinakufanya uangalie nyuma. Are causing you to look back. Tamaya dunia. The last of the world. Kwa nini usiachilie? Why don't you let go? Usiku taachilia. The day you let go. Utaanza kuona baraka za dunia. You will start experiencing the blessings of God. Ukweli. I assure you. Siku utaachilia dunia. The day you let go of the world. Utaanza kula mema ya dunia. You will start eating the good of the land. Lakini kama una tamaa ya dunia but if you still have the last of the world utaangamia you will perish na mbinguni hautaingia and heaven you won't see it achilia let go achilia let go kimbia na unakimbia run away and minutes kimbia na unakimbia run away and minutes usikimbia na dunia ndani yako do not run with the world within you utachoka you will get weary utachoka you will get weary biblia inasema the bible says walivyoendelea kukimbia as they went on yule mama the woman ghafla akageuka suddenly she looked back biblia inasema the bible says akageuka sanamu and she became a pillar of salt ya chumvi a pillar of salt akageuka sanamu she became a pillar kwa sababu sanamu ya ya Sodoma ilikuwa ndani yake Be- na yeye akageuka sanamu because the pillars of Sodom were still in her therefore she turned into a pillar praise the lord bwana sifiwe jesus christ is emmanuel yeso kristo ni manueli it is something you establish in your heart ni kitu ambacho unaimarisha moyo wako